Hi, welcome back to Raunchy's Reality Recap. Now in this video, we're going over Thousand Pound Sister, the Tammy Slayton, and it's a doozy. Apparently, Tammy Slayton was arrested for um, the marijuana and um, substance possession, paraphernalia possession in Kentucky. Now again, I'm trying to get around YouTube and everything because they ain't put my videos out there. But anyways, we just learned that the veteran sister, Thousand Pound Sister Star, was arrested and charged with um, substance and substance paranoia in her home state of Kentucky. It happened on August 7th uh, was when she was booked on these crimes after a Sturgis police officer responded to a complaint on August 4th of a Kirk. Clerk County, Clerk of Union County Court has confirmed to various outlets. Um, according to the Sun, Slayton was ordered to appear in court at the time of uh, August 34th for her arraignment. Her pre-trial conference was scheduled for October 5th, although it was optional for Tammy to attend the proceeding, which determines if the defense and prosecution has come to an agreement on a guilty plea. We don't know at the moment whether the this has taken therefore and therefore what the future holds for Slayton now yeah it it's a lot y'all I I'm surprised like this is just coming out usually when these stars come out and they get arrested for stuff it's like a hot potato in the a reality TV news place, you know, you get these really quick after they, you know, people get arrested. So it's surprising that she was able to keep this under wraps for this whole entire time. Now, also, um, yeah, so it's, I didn't know Tammy was like that, you know, I didn't know, but you know, unfortunately her home state of Georgia ain't, anywhere in the south they ain't too friendly to that stuff right now you know hopefully in a few years for you tammy it might change but girl you should know georgia ain't playing with that stuff now yeah i didn't again i did not know tammy was into this and you know i hope she's doing gummies instead of like smoking it because i don't i mean with the auction shank and everything you don't need to be smoking anything with your auction tank girl so hopefully it was just gummies or something or something that she's not actually smoking okay i'm like girl we see like i think i saw her like smoke a cigarette and all that and everything and it's like girl your health is as bad as it can get right now like i know you're losing all that weight but you don't need to be smoking and putting all that heart, that stress on your lungs right now when your body's just trying to, you know, lose the weight and everything and get you to a healthy, healthy thing. So, yeah, y'all, it, again, I didn't know this was coming out. But to move on from that, y'all, uh, let's go over her dating life. Now, apparently we know her ex or her strange husband passed away a few months ago, but apparently Tammy is already on facebook dating trying it says she's trying to like hang out with people and it w we'll see where it leads and all that but it, girl it's facebook dating like and i hate to say this because we don't know what's going through her head um you know she just lost her ex you know so again people are like we don't know until we're in that situation how we would handle it but girl a only a couple months like I know Tammy is in this, you know, she's feeling good about herself and she's losing all this weight. But I think uh, emotionally, she probably just needs to hold off, a hold off a little bit longer. And I think really both of these girls get into relationships real quick and just like, is it like slow down? Like with her sister, Amy, she has a new man and she just broke up with her baby daddy, her husband back in February. And now after meeting a man only a couple months, she has him living in the house, calling him daddy in front of her kids. Like this isn't a good look. It's not, it is not a good look. I want to see some women that are proud, you know, that can do it on their own independent. Yeah. We want to see them in a relationship, but we didn't been there, done that. And these girls need to take care of themselves and they and Amy need to take care of her kid before they start worrying about getting in a relationship bringing a man you don't really know into your house with your kids that just 
just went through their dad not being around anymore. I mean, no matter how bad you think of he was a dad, he's still their daddy. And that is just a lot of emotional trip for those kids to be going on right now. And I just feel sorry for them. Anytime, anytime I see somebody get, you know, move on real quick into the next relationship and bring, bring it around their kids. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. I think your dating should be separate from your kids. Your kids, you were dating somebody, not your kids. And then when you bring them around him, you don't know how long they're going to last. And we see these relationships with these, I mean, just on reality TV alone. I mean, shoot, girl, we all, I mean, y'all follow Team Mom, too, because we all know about them girls and how they like to move on relationships real quick and get the kids involved with relationships, calling people daddy. I mean, ugh, ugh, I don't like it. But anywho, that's what the news I had to bring out today before I start getting on and people don't like me anymore because I said too much. But that's what I had to bring you today. So Tammy, Tammy enjoys the the green stuff. Apparently did not know that, but she liked the green stuff, but girl, you need to, you need to do better keeping that on wraps. Okay. Cause you're still in the state of Georgia and Georgia don't play apparently. So y'all have a good day. Like scare, scare and uh, y'all, I can't talk. Subscribe. Y'all have a great day. Bye.